Hello Zebraherd, welcome back to Minecraft Dungeons. Today, we're actually going to be going in and trying to find more secret levels to the game. I have looked into this and found that there are only four secret missions and then a secret level on top of that. We'll be getting into some of the, those details today. Um, but basically, we've already found two of the secret levels, which were uh, Soggy Cave and Creepy Crypt. But on top of that, there is a secret level in Pumpkin Pastures, and I believe... Um, high block halls? I might be wrong. We'll be doing that in the next episode. Today's goal is to get to the secret level in Pumpkin Pastures. Um, on top of that, there is an extra super secret final level that can only be unlocked a certain way. And apparently the way you find it is past your house over here. I don't know if this stuff was always here and I just missed it, but there are some jumping pads. And if we keep going this way, this actually gets us, I think, to the other side of where the drawbridge would lead. I'm not sure, but as you can see, first off, we got some emeralds and... I guess this is like a nether portal that's not finished. I wonder if there's a way to finish that. That would be cool. We were talking before, I was a little disappointed there was no nether in this game. Maybe at some point, because they have confirmed the newest DLC, but I think there's supposed to be more than this. Maybe, maybe not, I'll just keep walking. No, this is definitely a dead end off this way. Huh, maybe I'm wrong, maybe this is it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there was more of those. So let's just keep looking around for right now. Um. Oh yeah, this leads somewhere. Ah, here we go. Okay, so down this way, we can head up. And look at this, this is a drawbridge. So yeah, we can go ahead and activate that, and that'll lower that so we can come back and forth this way anytime we want now. But more importantly, if we go in this way, this is some kind of cathedral, church kind of thing. Um, you can see a bunch of pictures of different people. If I had to assume, they're probably the developers of the game. Really cool pictures, so you can't really get a good view of them, but they look pretty cool. I don't know what else to expect here. I just know that there's some kind of secret level. I don't know if this is the secret level. Uh, there's, wait, there's a picture of a dog too. Oh, it's glowing. I don't know what that's supposed to be. It looks like light coming in from a cave. It's making a weird noise. Oh, now it's something else. It's like a gravestone. I don't know what that's about. Oh, okay. So it looks like there's different pictures. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Gotcha, so there's probably a secret to find in every level, apparently we've already found one of them. And I guess if we find them all, or maybe that's the first one I'm trying to look for. So like, the triangle maybe has something to do with the gravestone that we saw. Now it's a little thing. So like, will that change this? Yeah, it will, no, maybe. Yeah, I think so though, it, like, it lit that one up. So I guess maybe in every level there's something hidden to find. So we'll be working on that on its own episode for sure. For right now, we're just focused on finding the secret mission that's in Pumpkin Pasture. So that was a lot of fun for sure. Um, but for right now, pushing over to the boots. Let's get started with that. Um, we are on the more challenging difficulty now. We're not on um, default anymore. We're on Adventurer, we'll see what it is. I'm not exactly sure what the what the name of it was. But yeah, that's gonna be a lot of fun to check out. Um, and we're just gonna be making our way up to there. I think I might, like, we'll have to see. Like, we're at Pumpkin Pastures right now. Um, this is where it's like, I might do the easier difficulties just to check out the secret levels. Um, so like, what I can do is, instead of Adventure Mode, go to Default Mode, so that we can do this. Because Recommended Power is 27, we are level 27, so this would be a perfect fit if we were to do this, so that's cool. Um, and yeah, we're just gonna be going in the pumpkin pastures. And one thing I did confirm is to find the secret mission here, and same thing with Soggy Swamp, it is only sometimes available. So we may have to replay this level through several times to actually get what we're looking for. So I don't know if I'm gonna include that entire thing. I might play through the level once with you guys um, to look for it. And if I can't find it, then I will just replay the level and include the, the time I do find it. Um, so yeah, we're gonna keep the same setup we had before. And also, apparently there's a button on the keyboard that we can press that will put the map on the screen. So I'm going to try to look for that. Um, I'm not sure. Oh, here we go. Okay, so, I mean, it's on the screen, but I would like it to be on, in the corner or something on the screen. That would be a whole lot more helpful. <laughs> you know, just like, okay, I guess it's just in the middle of the screen. I hope nobody minds. Um, I might not always keep that up, but that might be easier than, of course, pulling it up every couple of seconds, um, like I did for the entire main adventure. Um, but yeah, we'll look around and just try to find exactly uh, all that stuff. Okay, so I've been wasting too many arrows here. Uh, I haven't played in a good couple of days, so if I am a little rusty today, I apologize um, as I just try to figure things out again. Um, oh, definitely getting you guys. And all of you. Yeah, this should be a lot of fun no matter what. I'm really looking forward to it, and I'm just really glad to get back to playing this game. I had a blast with it. It seems like a lot of you have too. Um, a lot of you have been checking out the series and showing it support, which I always appreciate. 
So, yeah, we'll just keep exploring this area and see what we find out of it. Hopefully some good stuff. But we still have plenty of, uh... Oh, yeah, am I not... Oh, yeah, that's right, I have a different setup right now compared to what I normally have. I forgot about that. Um, so, yeah, let's switch back to this bow because for the final boss, I changed my setup a little bit. And I definitely don't want that. Whoa, these guys are huge. They are very large. Um, yeah, this is a higher difficulty than we're used to. Um, it's it's the hardest difficulty on this game mode. Um, so, or, you know, like, non-adventurer mode. So, that's pretty cool. There we go. We're getting rid of them pretty well, though. Is this the way we're supposed to be going? I'm not sure. Boom, gotcha. Yeah, I know what I'm looking for in this one. Um, apparently, there will sometimes be a path that will lead to a... Um, pirate ship and in that pirate ship you can actually go into it so it would be hard to miss but like I said it's only available some of the times um, so hopefully this is one of the times it will be available if not I will replay the level until we get there um, that looks like everything there remember I could do this <laughs> it's actually it's more of a reach over than um, the other way but we'll just sort of you know just keep exploring see how things go over here it seems as though there's not too much yeah, it's a lot of nothing. Um, and of course, there's secrets and chests, and we'll try to find whatever we can. Since this is actually meeting our power level, we can sort of work with that. Anyways, I did notice this. The Azure Seeker. I have not tried this. This is another unique weapon. Um, 65 rain damage, increased rate of fire, um, faster projectiles. So this is like a uh, fast firing bow. Okay. Uh, with this one, uh, if the color blue had a sound, it would be the shots fired by the Azure Seeker. So we'll consider that. I don't know if that's like a must have at the moment. Um, but right now our soul build is still really good. So I'm just gonna keep with that. So of course there is a uh, pirate ship here, but that that one you can already see from here, the door is not open. And I don't know if there's supposed to be another pirate ship that might sometimes pop up, but that's where we're just gonna look around and try to find out ourselves. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm sure no matter what, it'll turn out quite well. Uh, we'll keep this up for now. Even though it does make it very visually confusing for me. So maybe I won't. Yeah, I wish it would just let us put it in the corner. That would be useful. Let's go ahead and shoot these guys away. Get over here, get you, get you. Oh man, this this zombie is all kitted out with a whole bunch of armor and a sword and stuff. There we go. But yeah, I'm glad to be you know back to playing this game. It was a lot of fun the first time, and I really want to hear you guys' feedback on how much more I should play the game if you guys want to see me grind. Because as far as I understand, the final secret level is going to be a lot tougher. Um and I might have to grind up for that. So would you like to see me just play a lot of levels over and over again and grind up for that? I don't really know. That's up to you guys. Um, so yeah, there's definitely not like a secret entrance, but I'm assuming there might be a ship where we can go into here. You know, that seems pretty obvious. So with that being said, we're gonna go back over this way. And, hmm. I don't see too much at the moment. Okay, I see you. There we go. I might set up another one of those. And is this the way we're supposed to go? I'm not really sure, but this looks a little different, but that might just be me misremembering. I haven't played in a little while. Uh, there we go. Get rid of that guy. Don't see too much over this way. So what's interesting is calling the dog over will actually add to my um, speed bonus, uh, my speed synergy. That's a surprising one because it doesn't really do too much, so you can really get some crazy synergies going on with that then. Um, that's cool. There we go. If you were to space it out correctly, you could definitely get some major speed synergies. Uh, oh, hello. There we go. Here are some enemies. We got our speed synergy to times five, and that's about it there. But still, pretty cool. This was a bit of a dead end. And we just have to keep searching each way until we find what we're looking for. I don't know how long the secret mission will be, but they're usually, you know, about the length of an average level, so I'm sure we'll be fine with that. Rushing back this way, though. Can't quite get up there. Oh, is this... Yeah, that's like the area that we're used to getting to, but it's just like at a different angle this time. Anyways, we'll get it. It's a uh, hunter's armor. Pretty cool. Ah, almost fell. Let's keep it moving. 
But yeah, like I said, they did confirm the release date of the new DLC. Well, I, I, I don't know release date specifically, but they have confirmed that sometime in July, which is June now, as of recording this, um, but sometimes in July, they're going to have a new DLC, which is jungle themed. So apparently adds like, I think it said three more missions, which isn't too much, but hey, I'll take anything I can get. I love playing this game so far. So anything new would be awesome. Hopefully they add more than just that in the future though. Like with that nether portal we saw at the beginning of today's episode, what could that be about, you know? Maybe there is still more yet to find in that way. I really, really hope so. That would be cool. Okay. It sounds like there's a chest here. Whoa, whoa, wait, what? Um, can I just walk into that? Oh, there's a... Oh, what is this? Is this one of the... I think this is one of the secret things. Oh, I think it is. So, like I said, to unlock that one level, we need to find all of those little symbols. Is this one of them? Whoa, I think it is. So I just selected it. Can I leave? Oh, that is scary. I don't like it. Um, well, wait, wait. What is this stuff? Something's rising. Now that is all kinds of scary. Um, so that seems to be it. That was cool. So I guess there's one of those to find in every single level. I can't believe I've missed those. Or maybe they don't show up until after you beat the game. So, yeah, we'll, if we miss some you know, in, in these videos, don't worry, we'll have an episode going back and collecting them all. But that's why it's important to watch every episode so that you can you know, watch along and find out where all those are. I mean, they might be in a slightly different place for every player, um, seeing how there just seems to be you know, a sense of randomness in this game. But you never know. Eat that apple. And so far we're keeping up pretty well. I know that the, the most recent levels have been quite difficult. But I think that you know, we're starting to pick up the pace a little bit with stuff. I'm hoping that we reach level 31 in today's episode. We'll have to wait and see. Um, oh wow, that's a lot. Uh, there we go. We got him. So I don't think I've missed where the potential pirate ship can be, but I'm trying to double back where I can just to make extra sure of that. Um, I can go up this way. Okay, and yeah, I don't see really too much more happening. Is there any enemies around here? Not quite. Okay, I'm sort of going the long way around, but right over here, Yep, there's a spider. Boom, got him. <laughs> and here are supplies. So I don't think uh, we have the pirate ship in this level, but we'll keep going just in case. Um, just to make extra sure of everything. And I did want to talk a little bit more about the ending of the game, because you know that's something we experienced in the last episode, and one thing that I thought was weird about that was that we never really got to know, you know, it sort of alluded to the fact that like, you know, the scepter came back together, but we never really got to see what happens about that. Like, does somebody else have the scepter? I guess maybe that's what's left to the DLC, or maybe it won't be. Once again, that might be what's with the nether portal. Or maybe there's gonna be like something totally different. Like maybe there'll be like an arena mode or something uh, that the uh, nether portal will open up. That would be cool, something like that would be very interesting. Something multiplayer related. Even though it would, it's most likely just something for the nether, but that would be weird seeing how, you know, everything else is accessed through the map and you can see in the map where the DLC is gonna be. So like, why would that be a thing, you know? It's just a little weird. Anyways, we'll let that TNT do its thing against whoever it can. Uh, one thing that I think would also be cool is I know that there are achievements in the game. I haven't checked out all of them, but it would be cool if there was like some kind of bounty mission kind of thing where it's like, oh, destroy you know 50 zombies or something and you get a reward. That would be fun. I feel like that would maybe work out a little bit better if this game had an open world element to it like most of the other action RPGs I've played have. I mean, it's sort of kind of open world. It's all usually strung together than it is in individual levels like it is with this game. So it's just like, there's a lot of possibilities for this game. Honestly, I'm excited for if there's ever a Minecraft Dungeons 2. <laughs> That's how good this game is. I'm really excited to see, like they got a really good base game here. Let's see what they could do with the sequel. I think they could do a lot of good stuff. Or if they just wanted to continue out with DLC expansions, I'm fine with that as well. But hopefully that, you know, they continue in a really good fashion in that way. Okay, this is a little bit much. This evoker is really going at me right now. Um, ow, there we go. Okay, be careful. Got him, <laughs> oh my gosh. That was a little close. I might wanna uh, change some stuff here. So I have the wolf out, but might be better to get one of these out. Sorry, doggy. 
Uh, but we still have to wait for that to cool down, and that takes a while to cool down as well. Yikes. So we just gotta be careful. In the meantime, don't just totally eat a shot from the, the skeleton. Okay. Anything of interest over this way? Nope. I almost have the health potion available. So maybe we should just wait for that. There it is. Okay, we're almost back up the full. Our health potion doesn't fill up our health entirely now. Wow. So see how much tougher the game's getting. Um, this is definitely the bonus way to go though. So hopefully we'll find a uh, a pirate ship at the end of this. There we go. Oh no, oh no. Am I stuck with the web? I think I am. Not looking like much of anything. But no, it's still going. Well at least we got a treasure chest. <laughs> Just a couple of emeralds, but I suppose it was worth the detour. Because we found the one chest, apparently there's one more secret, whatever that might be, I don't really know. But we are almost at level 31, it is taking a whole lot more work to get to those now, and that's where it's like, you know, it just takes a lot of grinding. Oh, there's a little piggy. Make sure to get him, nice. Oh, we got something there, um, just sickles. But still, I would like to try the sickles and see how that works. It might be time to, you know, start investigating different possible builds. It's just a build we have right now has such a good synergy. So there is like a little thing here, but this is not gonna be a um, pirate ship. I might explore it for the sake of it though, just for some extra experience and stuff. Um, I think it might be fun. There we go. Cause like I said, after I'm done here, I'm going to uh, replay through the level until I find the pirate ship but I'm not gonna include that in the in the footage just because it's been me playing the same level over and over again, that wouldn't be interesting. This sort of almost looks different. I don't think it is, but I can't say for sure. Uh, nothing over that way. All right. Well, I mean, there's something, but I can't quite reach it for now, so maybe there's some other things I can activate. Yeah, I'm not sure. Just a pot over here. Gotcha. Huh. There's like a green arrow. And what sounds like a chest somewhere. Over that way though. That's weird. I don't know, this, one, this one's odd. Oh, here we go. No, that's not a lever. It's weird how that one's not lit though. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with this area. Like, there's clearly something over there, uh, but I cannot reach it. And I don't know why. Can't go that way. There's not like any kind of secret button around here. Weird. Maybe there's this, maybe this one like just didn't work properly, didn't load properly, because like these things have a random element to them. Anyways, not worth worrying about a ton. If this has nothing to do with my secret level, which it doesn't, then I am going to leave it be for now. So we're coming up to the end of the level. I think that if we were to have found the secret, we would have found it by now. So that's unfortunate, but I did what I could. There we go. And then over this way. I'm actually out of souls at the moment, so definitely just wanna make the most of what I can here. Um, oh, we got a long bow over this way. Okay, don't think it's worth the arrows now. There's not too many enemies around. Here we go, that's a little bit more worth it. Got him, got him, okay, there we go. Oh, super speed now. Okay, the synergy ended. I thought I was still going there, but I guess not. Okay, is this the evoker? I think so. Let's try to get at a good angle, destroying him. Oh wow, he fell off too. Yikes. Let's go and grab our free staff. Cool. Oh, there's one of these guys around, huh? Well, we got him. <laughs> that wasn't too much of a problem. So I think we're handling this quite well. Oh, I'm stuck now. Maybe not. That was maybe a little too much, just for a couple of pretty simple enemies. There we go. Well, we're getting a lot of souls for it. Sometimes we will get souls for destroying enemies with uh, these arrows, sometimes we won't. There's some extra supplies. We have plenty of arrows. Like, it's not too much of a worry either way. There we go. We get our level up though. We're level 31, sweet. I'm happy about that, that's for sure. Uh, 
So, how many points? We have three points right now, so we should definitely look into seeing if we can't upgrade anything more. There is another cave here. All right, sure, I'll take a look at it. This is different than normal. I'm pretty sure there was not more than one cave here last time. So, I don't know what the dealio is with that, but I'll look around. Get rid of you, and you. Once again, there really is not much here. I mean, there's another area that apparently we already entered. Tad bit confused by that, but okay. Yeah, well, there's the other spot over that way. Maybe they're all connected in a way that I'm just, that's going over my head at the moment. Who knows? Okay, keep it moving. Because over here, should be just about the end of the level, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Okay, no, 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 I'm stuck! No way! <laughs> that was like the last hurrah from that spider. I can't believe that. See, so yeah, this is the entrance to the town, but it's like at a weird angle this time. Weird. I don't know, the layout to this level is so different. I don't remember this little pumpkin patch. Once again, at least not at this angle. Maybe, maybe we're actually getting somewhere here. Maybe not, no, okay, this is definitely a dead end. <laughs> okay. This game is so weird sometimes. Just trying to figure it out. I will grab that. And we'll keep t poking around a little bit. Oh man, where did that go? <laughs> Over there, I guess. I think that only took out a bunch of sheep. Sorry, sheep. So there is all that. We got some armor out of that too. Pretty cool. Because I've gone all of that way. Definitely not anything more for me there. And now we're just sort of chipping our way to level 32, same thing as before. So as you can see, it seems like we have just about made it to where we were, you know, at the end of the level. Nothing too different then. Um, I will just sort of zoom around real fast to make extra sure of that fact. There's like not any ships up this way that I can enter or anything like that. But I'm pretty sure that's not the case. So I will have to replay through this level, which is a shame. But hey, we still got something productive done. We found that, well actually, this ship is, I can get on top of it, but there's nothing going on in it. Um, but we found that one secret symbol, which is cool. All of those emeralds went flying and I didn't get to pick any of them up. That was weird. Uh, but yeah, let's just go ahead and fight the evoker then. The last little evoker battle. There I get that. Okay, I'm ready for you. I hope you know, taking you on. Yeah, 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 do your thing. Do your worst, really. I can handle it. There we go, all those guys taking in. Oh wait, I did miss an emerald over this way. Whoop. Still no, um, oh no, hey, watch it. There we go. Okay, a little bit of that too. Is that all you got? Usually there's, okay, yeah, we're not done. <laughs> Didn't think so. Sure that evoker's gonna show up sooner or later. There we go, we got him. Here he is. So we should be able to get him no problem. I mean, I think he's a slightly more difficult than normal evoker, but he was stuck on the bushes there. That was good for us. Out of souls for right now, but that shouldn't be too big of a deal. We get some souls back from that. And we got him. We took some damage, but overall pretty good. Happy about that. So yeah, we can skedaddle out of this level and we will be back you did. once I find. And the villagers of the pumpkin pastures go on to fight another day. Yep, yep. But I'll be back once I find that pirate ship. It might take me a couple of uh, attempts to do. I do think that it's finally time for me to upgrade some stuff. So I just played through the level again, couldn't find the pirate ship. I'm, so, I'm still gonna work on it. But in that last battle with the evoker again, I got archer's armor, which is 166 health, 15% move speed aura, 10 arrows per bundle, and 30% range damage. Archer's armor favored by humble warriors is cheap to make and still stops a blade. So I wanna try this as 29, so this is three points higher than this. Um, it also has two sets of upgrades, which is always a good um, requirement. So don't think I'm gonna be going for something like that. I might wanna look into some other changes as well. We have 28 heroes, so I wouldn't, wouldn't mind going into something like 29, but I don't know, maybe I could keep the Eternal Knight for now because it seems to be about on average with everything power level wise still. Um, but yeah, and like this other armor, not gonna take that. But for like our bows, our bows can have some huge upgrades. Like the longbow is a lot of damage, but strong range attacks like from a distance. So 
that might be worth doing for right now, because as you can see, 31, like that jumps our power up to 29. That's huge. Um, and I don't know if artifacts actually affect power. Yes, they do. Um, so that's also something to keep in mind. So like, we don't need this, we have the other better one. Um, so I'm gonna look through this too. I mean, I wanna keep everything, I, I just don't know if I wanna change it up a little bit. I'm thinking that we could at least do that. Um, and I could try this a little bit. I just don't know if it's worth it. Um, I definitely don't need two of these, so let's salvage that. Uh, and I don't think I have two of anything else. So overall, not too bad. I like having the speed boost, so I'd like to keep it. Um, so yeah, with that being said, our power's on 29 instead of 26, that's pretty big. Um, and that means I also can start salvaging uh, this stuff, or at least getting rid of it. I mean, this is 29, but it's like, it's less damage. I mean, we, we can see it really quickly if I uh, rush over this way. The damage is like, it's a lot. It's like one, two, three, one, two, three. But this is one, two, one, two. So I wish it would actually show the attack speed. Um, but maybe we should just go for it. It does, does have two lines of upgrades as well, so, um, you know what? I think it's just time for a change. Either way, though, the sickles are 30, but they don't have two lines of upgrades. Like, that's something to keep in mind as well. But how fast did the sickles attack? Oh my gosh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Nice. That's worth considering then. Um, I just want a change. You know what? I mean, I know that this means we're actually gonna salvage the stuff, but, there's no way to upgrade items, so we have to do this eventually anyways. Now is the time. We're gonna get six points there. I will salvage some of this stuff, too. Do I like the upgrade better than this? This gives me more options, um, but I can only choose one anyway. What is committed? Uh, deal, deal increased damage against already wounded enemies. Um, rampaging. After defeating a mob, there's a 10% chance to increase your attack speed by 50% for a short time. Um, freezing slow mobs that after hit for three seconds. Prospector, find more emeralds on enemies, and then chains. You know what? Ooh, the potential damage is one point higher for these. I don't know if that'll make too much of a difference. I think I'm gonna go for these, and I'm going to go with the committed. I like this one. Um, and we'll just upgrade that all the way immediately. Uh, when it comes to the thing here, um, this is 31, so it is the highest around, it seems. Um, so I can salvage these and get some points. Just like this, and as you can see, that is going to get me up to uh, 13, because I was at three already before I started salvaging things. So our power is 30 now. Um, so with this one, um, we have Cowardice, when you're, while you're at full HP, you deal more damage, that might be good. Electrified, rolling zaps three nearby enemies. Fire trail, uh, rolling creates a trail behind you. I don't do a lot of rolling, so I think we're definitely gonna go for Cowardice here. That's cool. Um, we also have Final Shout. When your health dro drops below 25%, all of your artifacts are used, ignoring cooldown periods. Uh, Gravity Pulse, a blast occurs every five seconds that pulls nearby enemies towards you. And then finally, Cooldown, reduces the cooldown time uh, between uses of your artifacts, which I think would probably be the best thing. So we'll upgrade that. And then finally, um, we're sort of out of points for it for right now. Um, well, that's because I haven't cycled through this stuff. Okay, so, um, yeah, like, this is a one point better, but it doesn't have um, some of the other benefits a Unique has. So, I am going to salvage the rest of this. It does think that I'm saying goodbye to my um, my soul setup, but it just, that's how this game works. That's what you gotta work with, that's what you gotta live with. Um, that's fine. Uh, so yeah, now we get to upgrade the bow and arrow a little bit. We're at 13 points, so multi-shot grants a chance of to fire fi five arrows at once, or piercing. I like, I like uh, multi-shot, so we'll do that. And then over this way, we have bonus shot or ricochet. Small chance for arrows to ricochet off mobs. I want a lot of arrows. <laughs> That's always my favorite. So we're just gonna go with that. Um, and there we go. So things are looking quite upgraded. I know we don't have anything enchanted. I don't know how to enchant things yet. I don't know if that when we unlock that, but as you can see, we do have a chance of firing five at times. Oh wow, huge multi-shot chain there. So yeah, I'm just gonna go back into the level and hope things go a bit better this time. Ooh, so this is like the third or fourth time I'm playing this level now. <laughs> I think the fourth, but I just got Unique Sickles The Last Laugh, which um, jumped this damage up by a good chunk. Um, and as you can see, 
uh, make it so that I have mobs drop, more emeralds, dual wield, uh, strange distorted laughter seems to whisper from these menacing looking sickles. Um, so that sounds fantastic. I might want to go for this, um, changing the upgrade from committed to something else. Um, Fire aspect, sits mobs uh, on fire for three seconds, dealing damage over time. Freezing and then looting increases the chance for mobs to drop consumables. I think that we will go for something a little bit more effective than that. Um, but yeah, we're just going to salvage these because they just don't have nearly as much damage as these will. Uh, so let's go ahead and boost the fire, I think. There we go, very cool. So we get now have some uh, very cool sickles that I'll definitely be trying to make the most of. On top of that, I'm still looking for this secret level entrance. It is ridiculous how uncommon it can be, but I'm doing what I can. So I just defeated the Evoker again, and I got a new set of what seem like sickles. These are one point better, um, and they give slightly more damage. Uh, spawn poison clouds, dual wield, so instead of uh, making enemies drop more emeralds. Interesting. The twin blades of nightmare bite, drip with deadly venom, uh, spill potent, uh, still potent after all these years. And we also got a better the lasting laugh, okay. Interesting, um, and that's even better. I won't even be able to use these sickles. <laughs> that's not good. Um, so I'll jump to these. These are gonna give me the highest power and the highest damage, like that's what matters. Um, but I will definitely salvage these. The only difference though is that this gives me two sets, so like of upgrades, which can be way better, which can lead to so much more, well, because we get the fire aspect, we get leeching even. Um, swirling, the attack in, the last attack in a combo performs a swirling attack, damaging nearby enemies. Critical hit gives you a chance to inflict critical hits, uh, dealing triple damage. That sounds amazing. Stunning, defeat, a chance to temporarily stun enemies. Like this, this actually has way better upgrades. So I actually, I'm not gonna do either of these then. I'm sorry, but this is better. It's only a little bit less damaging anyways. Uh, for the first one though, Echo Leeching or Fire Aspect. We already have Poison, so maybe Fire Aspect isn't really worth it. I don't know if those stack even. Uh, I'm thinking that if we really wanna get damaging, we want this. We want Echo followed by a critical hit. Okay, so I can't get the next. Oh, this one's more expensive than the average. Interesting. Um, on top of that, we have some other things here. I'm going to be salvaging these. Uh, just going over this now while you guys are here. <laughs> I'm thinking about maybe trying this at a higher level. Now, I've gotten to a point where I sort of can. I don't know if that's gonna be a good idea or not, but I definitely sort of wanna consider it. Um, this is higher damage, but once again, I don't think the upgrades are really better. Um, so, I think with that being said, I'm just gonna keep moving forward. We have a power of 31. I really could consider it, but I'm just not really sure. Uh, but I don't know how many times I have to replay through this level for the pirate ship. The Soggy Swamp, that secret level was only once. You did it. So after seriously like two hours of searching, I have finally found it. The boat, the boat we've been looking for. Oh my gosh, I don't know why they made this such a rare appearance, but basically you can see that we're on this long path. What I think it is, is this is right before the fortress where you can jump over the gap and get that one secret treasure. Um, it just leads off this way. If you have to go farther than that, you might as well just pause the level and return to camp. I'm not gonna do that right now because then I'd miss out on this. Um, it seems like when you return to camp, you actually keep everything you've collected in the level, so that's awesome. So anyways, let's go into the boat now. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be really long episode for, oh man, what's happening now? Oh, that's the map, I need the new location. Um, but yeah, um, this has taken me a ton of effort. Uh, this episode, like I said, is like two hours in the making. Um, even more, probably, by the time we're done with the actual level that we're trying to play. So look, there we go. Uh, Arch Haven. Now, I want to make extra sure that uh, quitting level doesn't like not unlock the level. Like, I don't want it to like undo my progress. I'm pretty sure it won't. But I'm going to quickly do it now. Just, um, just play through this level and complete it, and then I'll be back um, once all of that is done. Okay, I'm so relieved I finally got there. You can tell how much like effort this took. I have almost 6,000 emeralds now. I had less than 2,000 when this episode started, but now we have the Arch Haven. We might as well tackle it on the hardest difficulty. We have six power levels above that even. So yeah, let's see the story for the Arch Haven. A hidden stash. What's this? You've stumbled upon an outpost used by the Arch Ilger and his wretched band of ill-willing bootlickers. Surely stealing his secret plans and grabbing his ill-gotten loot will set him back considerably. Let's hope so, even though he's technically already defeated. Let's go in and find out together. Uh, even though it was a ridiculous requirement to be able to find this, and I hope that they maybe update it so that it's not as difficult. 
I'm glad I'm finally here. <laughs> so yeah, we're just gonna be playing through this level now and just sort of seeing how things go. What's also good though, is that at the harder difficulties, you, you don't have to re-unlock these levels. You know, I was still doing this on the easier difficulty. Um, so like when we, you know, play through these maybe later, we don't have to worry about finding all that. Um, so let me make sure I'm going the bonus ways first, but this area is already looking pretty cool. It has like a, like a cavern cave feel to it. Uh, I like that. Over this way, we got some stuff. Or maybe it's just supposed to be nighttime. I'm not sure though, but with how the lighting looks, it makes it feel like we're sort of inside in a way. Um, anyways, I like this creeper block. <laughs> That's cool. I just, I'm, I'm just glad to finally make our way through this level. We've gained quite a few level ups. As you can see, we're level 36, and I have this set up right now. Um, I did find a bow, a long bow that does not have two item slot upgrades. Maybe I'll change that at some point. We don't have anything that's better for the moment. Um, so that means I do have two leftover um, points right now that I actually don't have the ability to spend on anything I currently have equipped. It might, you know, be equipable for some other things. If we, are, That's sort of like a cool perk, though. And then eventually, we'll just have so many points that we'll be able to have... Well, this this is cool. But um, we'll have, be able to have, like, multiple weapons that are fully slotted and not even have to have them equipped. So that's cool. Um, obviously, we can't get the perks in, of that until we equip it, but just having that option, you know, would be great. Being able to switch out my loadout, just depending on what I want. So it looks like I'm supposed to be going that way, so I'm going this way. So this looks like an old, like abandoned uh, porch. I like the music. Can I go inside? Who's playing the music? It's like a little hotel in there. Ha, huh. all right. Wish they would let me in. Anyways, over this way, what do we got going on? Um, this is like its own separate thing. This is not a part of the main area. Right now we're just trying to undercover or under the cover of darkness reach the village. Uh, oh, hi guys. So yeah, I guess it's just supposed to be during the night. It just sort of has like this look to it that makes it feel like it's sort of kind of like in a really big cavern type cave. Obviously, you know, there's a lot of grass growing and stuff, but you ever seen one of those giant cavern openings that has like grass growing in it a little bit? You know, I don't know how to explain it, but that's clearly not what this is. Anyways, we're out of arrows, uh-oh. Gotta be careful about that. Luckily, I have all these other moves. We're working out quite well. Can I? Uh, oh, I can make my way over here, look at me! Uh, oh yeah, I can just go into the water here. And I guess, yeah, those are the parts where I can't. Interesting. Um, not much I can do with these spots, but I'm just looking around to see, you know, what my options are. It would be very cool if they ever did like an underwater level with like one of those, uh, like, you know, those uh, temples you can find underwater. That'd be cool. Now, I feel like there's a lot of cool Minecraft places they haven't really touched in this game. So I'm hoping that there's actually a considerable amount of DLC, that would be cool. Anyways, got all this right here, <laughs> pretty good. And yeah, we're doing pretty good with all this, so let's keep moving this way. Find all spells, I would love to. I'll toss that over that way to, <laughs> for whoever wants to find it. Cause I don't see a way up onto this thing. I can't go this way. This is a dead end. Oh, okay, they found me. <laughs> I need to use my potion real quick. Even though we're quite a good chunk higher level than everything, I just feel like sometimes we still take some pretty major damage. I mean, I know that we could definitely upgrade our armor a bit, but then I'd be losing out some other perks that I'm enjoying a lot. So for right now, I'm gonna keep with what we got. Let's head up this way then. It definitely, aesthetically, this is a fun level. And also with the gameplay, but. Luckily, I don't need arrows for the, the fire artifact, the fire arrows artifact, which is a little bit weird when you think about it, but I'm fine with that. They are really beating me up. A lot of ranged opponents at the moment. Oh, definitely take that. Okay, guys, watch it. I could really use some extra arrows right now, or at the least, um, my potion would also be useful. There it is. Uh, more swiftness, that's good. So it seems like I'm, uh, oh, there are some arrows. So we get 36 out of that. It'd be less if it wasn't for my uh, thing. So that's why I'm happy about it. Okay, that seems to be everything for here. Uh, let's get rid of this whole group if I can. Awesome. And this should be the last spell right here. I don't think I really missed anything too much. Yeah, okay, yeah, just wraps right, right about, around back to here. So that's cool. Explore the cave. Well, I don't have anywhere else to go. Might as well. 
So what's going on in here? Looks like there's only, only one way to go, but I can take out an enemy over this way. Whoop, gotcha. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I hear what sounds like a chest. I do not see one though. So maybe there's something hidden here, maybe it's somewhere else. You never really know. Yeah, we'll just keep looking around, but more arrows is good. That is not a very useful spot for the TNT, but that's where it is. All right. Okay, yeah, find another exit. Will do. So you can see there's something over there, but I don't think it actually leads to anything. Once again, I hear the glow of another chest. Aha, this one's actually up there. Didn't even actually have to like get up there to find it, but ooh, mercenary armor. Is that um unique? It's not. <laughs> Well, that's fine, but we did find another exit. There's once again, apparently a spot over this way. I don't think there really is though. Also, yeah, we found one secret. There's apparently zero chests around here, so we're just trying to find one more secret. We might have missed that, I don't know. Uh-oh, what do we got this time? We got some enemies, what do you know? Okay, let's get the fire arrows out if we can. Ooh, I definitely want that strength potion. Thank you, and then, okay, sir. Stop with that, please. There we go, oh no, wait! Okay, that was bad of me. I just didn't do a very good job there. Um, so it looks like we found the exit. Is that it for the level? That's it, wow, really short level. It took me two hours to find and 10 minutes to complete. <laughs> that's a bit disappointing, I gotta be honest, but that's probably where we're gonna be wrapping it up for today's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it might be not a very long episode for you guys, but man, oh man, was this a long episode for me. Um, Next episode, we'll be doing the same song and dance for the next area. We got Wonderful Wheat here. 39's actually pretty good um, compared to our old one, which was only 29. That was 10 better. Pretty cool. Um, we'll take a look at our other armor. I might end up going for uh, something here. Like maybe this would just be better because it's, it's like seven points better. So we miss out on what? The move speed aura? We still get plus 10 arrows, okay. I think I can do without a move speed aura then. Um, this one's slightly worse, but does have two upgrade paths instead of one. Um, so I think I actually, I will go for that. Unless, what is snowball? I haven't seen that one. Fire a snowball at a nearby enemy every few seconds, briefly stunning it. Don't think that's a must have. So we're gonna salvage that, salvage this, salvage that. Scale mail is technically better. But I think we're fine with what we got. So our power is 34, and as we upgrade this, we have Recycler being hit by damage inflicts projectile. Uh, inflicting projectiles will occasionally craft a small quiver of arrows or thorns. Um, I think we'll do thorns. And then on top of that, we have Fire Trail or Potion Barrier. Whenever you use a healing potion. Oh, this is always a good one. Um, so there we go. So now we're up to 34 power. I'll keep that just in case. Um, we don't have any bows that are currently better. Wait, what did I just do? Um, yeah, no bows that are currently better than what we have, so we can salvage all of these. And then finally, the swords. I think we do have swords that are uh, potentially better, like this sword right here is 38. But I think the poison clouds are still worthwhile, so I might hold that for now and consider it later, but I think overall, everything else here we can get rid of, no problem. Yeah, that was a lot of work, but also a lot of fun. I'll hopefully, I think next episode's um, secret is, is not as random. We'll have to wait and see to really know. Um, but yeah, I think for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Minecraft Dungeons. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.